Hey everyone, if you're curious about GoodSync and wondering if it's worth the hype, you've come to the right place. In this GoodSync review, I'm going to chat about my experience with GoodSync, really like about it, a couple of little things that aren't perfect, and whether GoodSync might be right for you. If you decide to give GoodSync a whirl, there's a link below to snag the best price available. All right, let's jump into this GoodSync review. So a while ago, I had a total digital disaster. I lost a ton of important files because I didn't have a good backup system. It was like a nightmare come true. After that fiasco, I got pretty obsessed with finding a solid way to keep my files safe and synced. I tried a bunch of different programs, but none of them quite worked for me until I stumbled upon GoodSync. Now, to be honest, GoodSync didn't exactly wow me from the start. The setup process for GoodSync was a bit puzzle. There are a lot of options, and if you're not super tech savvy, figuring out how to set up GoodSync can be a bit of a head scratcher. But once you get past that, GoodSync just runs in the background and takes care of syncing everything so you don't have to think about it. One of my favorite things about GoodSync is how it automatically syncs my files. I work on a bunch of devices, a laptop, desktop, and sometimes even my phone. Having everything up to date all the time is such a relief. I can start working on a document on my laptop in the morning, then switch to my desktop later in the day without worrying if I'm working on the latest version. GoodSync handles that seamlessly, which is awesome. Another feature of GoodSync that I really appreciate is the security. GoodSync uses AES-256 encryption to keep your files safe, which is the same level of protection used by banks. Plus, if you're not a fan of public cloud services, GoodSync lets you set up your own private cloud storage. This is fantastic if you're especially cautious about where your data is stored. But hey, let's be real. Nothing's perfect. One little downside is the initial setup. It's not super complicated, but it's not exactly beginner friendly either. There are a lot of settings in GoodSync and it can be a bit overwhelming if you're not used to this kind of software. Another minor thing about GoodSync is its interface. It works just fine, but it does look a bit outdated compared to some of the newer, flashier apps out there. If you're someone who loves sleek, modern designs, GoodSync's interface might seem a bit basic, but honestly, it gets the job done, so it's not a big deal. Overall, GoodSync has been a total game changer for me. It's reliable, easy to use once you get past the initial setup, and it keeps all my files synced across my devices without a hitch. If you're looking for a way to keep your digital life organized with minimal fuss, I definitely recommend giving GoodSync a try. Thanks for hanging out for this GoodSync review. If you decide to check it out, don't forget to click the link below to grab the best price available. Thanks for watching, see you next time.